I do not know a better name to call you. Maker of universe, maker of universe. I do not know how to explain you unexplainable. You unexplainable. I do not know a better name to call you. Maker of universe. Maker of universe. I do not know how to explain. You unexplainable. You unexplainable. Bigger than all my thoughts You're bigger than my mind You're greater than the greatest Oh God You made the world to be Creator of existence All the glory is yours Yahweh For you are Nothing. You hold me all together. You hold me all together. For without you, I can't move a mountain. My life is meaningless. Hallelujah. My life is meaningless. Say tonight, bigger than my mind. You created, you created, and the greatest. To you, all oh, power belongs to you. Who can be compared to you? To make a yeah, you're indescribable. There's no way to describe you, God. Nobody can describe you, God.
Yeah, Pastor, good morning, and it's great to be in uh, God's presence this morning. I want to welcome all of you, all the our viewers, uh, different lands of the earth. of the earth we want to say we welcome you to this morning uh, morning dew is the regular uh, time on the swimming tv online well, the swimming tv online is a, a ministry of the so many evangelistic ministries we want to welcome you this morning and we thank god we can be in your homes and we're grateful to all of you that can to point the rest by staying in touch and following what we do and how we encourage and build the body and reach our with gospel. I want to thank God for all of you that are watching this morning and I want to give you time to you know, reach out to as many persons to be a part of this good time. And we ask you that indeed you uh, would know that you're going to be blessed this morning. So we ask you to open your spirit uh, in the name of Jesus. God bless you this morning as we prepare for prayer this morning. My life is meaningless. My life is meaningless. So tonight, be good in my life. Pray out, you pray good in the face. All power Blessed, you are the greatest. You are. Yes, 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 who you are this morning. You are the greatest. You are the greatest. This morning, you are the greatest. Oh, Kenny Harden, our Liberian gospel musician, one of our best leaders in worship this morning. Unexplainable, indescribable. Yes, eh? You're indescribable. Oh, that's who you are. Maker of the universe. Unexplainable. That's who you are this morning. I say. Maker of the universe, you know, you are indescribable. This morning, you are unexplainable. Yeah, maker of the universe. Yeah, you are the greatest. You are the greatest. You are. Yes, so we are this morning. We worship Him. He is the greatest. He is the greatest. Ah, Makabayana Raba. You are the greatest this morning. By the way, thank you this morning. We we'll worship you this morning. We we'll adore you and lift your name in worship and adoration. And we we'll thank you for gathering us this morning, waking us up in our right minds, preparing us for another day. Yeah. You are the greatest. That's why we worship you. That's why we declare your praise. That's why we honor you this morning. Oh, yes. We praise you this morning. Thank you, Lord of hosts. Yeah, whenever we call, you are there. Yeah, whenever we pray, thank you, Lord. Lord, you hear us. That's it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bring it to us, leading us in worship this morning. One day. 
praying to you, Lord. But the song of praise again at We bless your name this morning and thank you. Thank you for hearing us. Thank you for being there. Thank you for being our help, for being everything to us. This morning, our, our day is all about appreciating you and giving you glory and giving you praise and, and our ocean. For the life you can give. to you we live our spirit to you we live our soul to you this morning thank you this morning for waking us up thank you for the strength thank you for the vitality thank you for the importation thank you for renewing the grace in our lives that we can rest in you look to you depend on you and trust you God we remember your spirit of truth we remember your mighty God we live our hearts to you to say let your glory be with you let your presence be made available let your anointing be released upon us. We need our strength and restore our joy. Do something new, mighty, and awesome in our midst this morning. Do, do, do. Okay, then. Yeah. Thank you this morning for the things you've done for me. For the time. Praise, we bless us. Oh. 
Jabare Mokosia Bare Mashika Baya Darabara Jabora Bakas Ladaraba Vibe Kabare de Libata Mora Bakasata Kashia Baba Jabora Bakasada Bakatanaba Jibe la baka bria kasa nama, jiba kata la bara baka sa, jabre kashi kata. We lay our lives before you. We submit our lives. We pour our hearts at your altar. Yeah, we bless your name, Mr. Yeah, baka shi da la ba. time of celebrating you and glorifying your day. We look to your word this morning. Empower us by your anointing. Touch us by your spirit. Inspire us by your word. We thank you our God. We thank you our King. We thank you our, our joy this morning. We bless your spirit of truth. We honor and give you praise. We worship you Jesus. We know your name. You reign supreme. Thank you Father. In you God. We pour our heart this morning. You reign alone as Lord of all. Thank you, Lord, this morning. Thank you, Spirit Truth, Lord of us all. Present everyone to you this morning. The champion, the Lord, the Lord, the captain of Thank you, Father, tonight, this morning, brother Lord. Bless our time together this morning. Uh, may we experience your grace and power. And uh, may everyone that gathered this morning, may they not go back the same. May they go back touched and blessed by the Spirit. May they have a new day. May they have a new experience. May you revive them. You restore and strengthen them this morning. The champion of the Lord of hosts. You are our champion this morning. And we're grateful this morning for gathering us. Thank you, O oh God, for showing us a strong. Thank you, O oh God. Thank you, O oh all. We bless your name this precious morning. Thank you for being there and for being everything we've trusted you to be. Take the praise and the glory this morning. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. This morning, we want to bless the Lord in a mighty way. We thank Him for the opportunity of, of being here in His presence this morning. We give Him glory for everything He's done. And we appreciate all of you that come to stand and partner with us in ministry uh, by your prayers, by your presence, by your word of encouragement, by your response, by your comments. We want to say we appreciate all of you this morning. And thank you for allowing us to be in your homes. We know, we know it's not a right. We know it's a privilege. You know, we don't take that lightly. We could appreciate the privilege of ministering to you this morning. Today we are, we are continuing in uh, my season of recovery on morning dew. This morning dew. Every morning from 6.30 to 7.30. We have this time. If I were working on adjusting the schedule, yeah, we'll have a shorter time than that. Maybe we'll go from 6.30 to 7.15 and then we'll be out. Yeah, because we believe that uh, sooner or later we'll be getting ready for work and everybody will be getting prepared for work and everything else. And so uh, we need to be adjusting our schedules that will fit within you so that you'll be able to get the best out of it. 
So we bless God this morning to have you. And we know that you're going to be blessed by this time in God's presence. Uh, God bless you this morning. Yeah. Uh, this morning, uh, we want to take time to continue from yesterday morning. Yesterday morning we were talking about, well, in the process of talking about recovery. We shared that uh, one of the things that will have to take place in your in your life as a child of God, uh, as a person who wants to experience uh, recovery in your life, is that you will have to uh, discover and conquer the battles of life over your family. And we say honor, and in the process of doing that, there are things you will have to understand. One of them would be that you have to know that, that God is looking for deliverers and you are God deliverer. Ezekiel 22, 28 to 30. The second one is that you have to know that the challenges you are faced with and solving. That's, yeah, 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 yesterday morning we took time to talk about it. And knowing the challenges you are faced with and solving them, not finding excuses, not casting blame, not pushing it to another group of people, but taking responsibility and solving them. And then we talk about today we want to continue talking about the uh shifting your spiritual capacity we said that if I, all you are going to recover one thing that will need to happen to you is that there will have to be a shift a shift in your spiritual capacity and when we talk about shifting in your spiritual capacity capacity for something to be shifted it means that to move or cause to move from one place to another when something is moved or when something is caused to move from one place to another, you know automatically that a new one, a shifting has taken place. Yeah. A shifting has taken place. And so one of the things we know is going to happen that is expected to take place in uh, our lives as we seek the Lord this morning is that there has to be a, a movement, movement, a movement from one level of spirituality to another level of spirituality. From one, from one, from one level of commitment, dedication to the things of God, to another level of dedication, and so it's so important that uh, you, as a person, understand that if there is going to be recovery in your life, you got to shift your spiritual capacity. Another word for that is to change the emphasis on direction. I mean, when you change the emphasis, when when you change the direction of something, eventually it's considered that you have shifted. And, 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 and we, we say the same thing there will have to be a change of emphasis and uh, probably uh there are other things you've been emphasizing more than spirituality you will have this time have to change your emphasis and focus a bit a, a more into your spiritual life give more time to your prayer life to the word to study to books to materials that build your information capacity and give you insight how to handle each you have to address the different situations of life so you will have to be able to you know, to work on those areas of your life, change direction, change your emphasis. Maybe there were some things you were emphasizing, and you got to begin to emphasize it. You got to begin to concentrate. You got to begin to pay more attention. If you notice, far before we got to the lockdown, uh, the Lord spoke to me to start getting involved with podcasts and uh, online broadcast, and I was like, ah, I, 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 I don't want to wait to get a radio station. But then uh, the Lord uh, kept pressing my spirit, and I went in for it, and then we started broadcast again. And then after about, about, about one and a half to two months, the whole situation came about. Now, had I not shifted, had I not changed my emphasis that the Lord was speaking to me, then I would have been trying to learn over. But by the time we got to the situation, I was already what Ukram had settled in it because the Lord had told me one and a half to two months ahead of time that you needed to do it. He didn't tell me what was coming, but he told me to, to move in that direction. And so there, there's a need for a shift in your spiritual capacity. All right? Uh, now, when you know we talk about spiritual, you may we know that it's not any material, it's not anything how you call it, uh, 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 that, that, that and physical that you can touch or so. All right, it has to do with the human spirit. It relates to the human spirit or the human soul, as opposed to the to the human body. Uh, another aspect, capacity has to do with your maximum amount that something can contain. The maximum amount that something can contain. So when we talk about capacity, that means that that is. To one level, to one level, you can you can you can continue, you can you can receive and be able to continue something. And so, for what God wants to do with us, for the level of change and transformation God wants to bring to your life as a person and to my life, eventually we gotta be able to 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 build the capacity to handle because there are things that you will be engaging and there are things you will be changing and there are things you will be you know confronting and you need the capacity to be able to do it. You know. 
to attempt to do something and not have the capacity is to, to plan to fail, you know. When you plan to do something and you don't really prepare yourself and you don't have yourself shifted well, you don't have yourself prepared well, eventually what happens at the end of the day is that it ends up in failure. But you will not fail in Jesus' name because you will be committed to what you do. You will, you will build your capacity, especially spiritually, you know, to get that done. All right? Now, now, if you're going to build your spiritual capacity, there are certain cardinal things you need to understand. You need to understand. Number one, you need to understand the reality of the supernatural, both naked and positive. If you're going to build your spiritual, your spiritual capacity, you got to understand that there is something called the supernatural. And now, the call, you got to know that it exists. You got to believe that it exists. You got to have an understanding that it exists. Not only that, you got to have a desire to experience the supernatural, but you also need to understand that this supernatural has the negative and the positive. Many a times, most of us who are even good believers get into trouble because. Our whole understanding of the supernatural that in the realm of the supernatural, only God is there. I want to say to you today, in the realm of the supernatural, it's not only God that is located in the supernatural. The supernatural has the positive and the supernatural has the negative. In the positive is God and his entire kingdom. In the negative is the devil and his entire setup. And so if for any reason you are engaging the supernatural and you don't have this understanding, there's a tendency to get exposed to the negative side of the supernatural and start going into error. Not because God is speaking or God is guiding you, but because you don't understand the supernatural. You don't understand in the realm of the supernatural, there is a negative, there are evil forces there, and there are godly forces on the other side. And so, if you don't have that knowledge, when you receive the thing, that's what the Bible says, you need to test every spirit. That's why when you receive something, you need to test it in line with the Word of God. The Word of God becomes the canonized base by which everything that comes from the spirit is evaluated if it evaluated on the by the word of god and it does not fit into this word of god automatically it cannot be accepted why because god's word remains final it is the canonized it's a set pattern it is the rule it is the solving it is the ruler it's everything that will give you what is real and what is fake so what is real, real and what is fake is not determined by someone, it's determined by the word of God. So once it doesn't fit within the confines of the word of God, automatically it has a problem. So if you are going to make an impact when it comes to the supernatural, I want to let you know this morning that you will have to, as a person, realize that there is a supernatural, there is a, the positive of it, there is a negative of it. God is in charge of the positive and the devil. God works in the positive and supernatural, and God will do positive things in the realm of the supernatural. But the devil who works in the negative supernatural, you will influence things negatively, you will manipulate things, and if you don't understand it, you could be affected negatively by the enemy because you think that the supernatural is only God. Many have caused pains and caused uh, trouble and a lot of terrible experiences for themselves. Because they did not understand that the supernatural is not one of God and his angels and the 24 elders and everything else about the kingdom of God. They, don't, they, didn't, they didn't understand that indeed the, 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 the supernatural involves, uh, how you call it, uh, evil forces, negative forces, principality powers, the rulers of darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in high places. You know, uh, uh, Paul was serious about it when he said that in Ephesians 6, uh, uh, 10 to 12. In 10, he says, be strong and loyal in the power of his might. And he said, put on the entire armor of God that you'll be able to stand against what? The wiles of the devil. He said, for rise are not against what? Flesh and blood, but against what? Principality, against what? Powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. And against what? Spiritual wickedness, what? In high what? places. So, if these are the things we are confronting, then we need to understand how they operate. How do we relate to them? How do we put them in check? How do we use the authority given to us in Christ Jesus to be able to subdue them and make sure that we are victorious and we lived above the challenges of life and make sure we fulfill God's assignment and God's plan to his generation. Yeah. So uh, if we're going to do that, we don't understand the reality of the supernatural, both the negative and the positive. Yeah. You understand that. Many are having problems in the kingdom of God today because they uh, don't understand that uh, there is the uh, there is the uh, the negative supernatural deception can come in. If any minute you're doing perfectly well, he knows that you are making airways, 
and you know that he can never get you into sin, he can never get you into something they would consider as sin. One thing the enemy could do is that get you into error, you get into pride, you give you a false prophecy, he could lead you to he could elude you, lead you to some false doctrine or false information that will just get you out tangent. And I want to let you know that it has happened to many great servants of God. People will, will talk about great servants of God and really had a relationship with God. It happened to some of them. In, in, in Bible history, there are people who, who wander away from the purpose of God, who got out of the will of God, who tried to interfere with the purposes of God because they were exposed to the wrong spirit. The wrong spirit took over them and led them into error and made them to make terrible mistakes and made them to, to become selfish and made them to concentrate on themselves and ignore the overall agenda of the kingdom. And so uh, the Bible and Paul, uh, uh, Solomon speaking said, there is nothing new under the sun. And so if there is nothing new under the sun, then we need to learn from the experience of those who have gone before us, learn their errors, learn their, 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 their successes and and be able to guide ourselves against the errors and be able to partake of uh, the successes, the thing that made them succeed, use it and even go higher than them. Hallelujah. That makes you a destiny overcomer. You need to know the authority giving us. We need to know that. We need to know that there is an authority giving us. You know? Uh, there is an authority. If you're going to recover, if your, your spiritual capacity is going to be shifted, you got to know the authority given you. You got to know that. That You got to know who backs you. Who supports you. When you stand and pray and say, in the name of Jesus. When you stand and say, I bind. When you stand and say, you know, I come against this. When you come and say, I destroy. When you come and stand and say, I'm going to the Lord for a turn in this situation. Who backs you? Who is your authority? How authentic are they? What ability do they have? Do they have the capacity to protect you, sustain you? And if they have the capacity, have they delegated authority to you? Have they given you the right to do it? Because sometimes somebody can have authority, but once they have not dedicated the authority to you, you cannot use that authority. To use the authority means that you are impersonating. So why would show that we are not impersonating, but we are genuine? They are cardinal truth. You know, the Bible says in the book of Ephesians, chapter uh, 6. No, we're going to focus. There's been a lot of things around. If you let's look at it. Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians 6 this, 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 this morning. It says, If you didn't know Ephesians 2, sir, I'm going to 6. Wow. Ephesians chapter 2. Very sorry. Ephesians chapter 2. Okay. Begin verse 6. It says, And he raised us up together with him and made us to sit together, giving us joint seats with him in the heavenly sphere by virtue of our being in Christ Jesus, the Messiah, the anointed one. He did this that we might clearly demonstrate through the ages to come the immeasurable, limitless, and surprising riches of his free grace, his unmerited favor, in his kindness and goodness of heart towards us in Christ Jesus. For it is by, by free grace, God, unmerited favor, that you are saved, delivered from judgment, made particular of God's salvation through your faith. And this salvation is not of yourself, of your own doing. It came not through your own striving, but it is a gift of God. But not because of works, nor the fulfillment of law's demand, lest any man should boast. It is not the result of what anyone can possibly do, so no one can pride himself in this, all right? For we are God's own workmen of work, and uh, his workmanship recreated in Christ Jesus, born in you, that we may do those things, good, do those good works which God pre destined, plan before time for us, taking path which he prepared ahead of time, that we should walk in them, living the good life which he prepared and prearranged and made ready for us to live. That means the Bible is saying that when Jesus died and uh, he rose from the dead, the Bible said when he was rose from the dead, we, we, we arose with him. And the Bible said when he arose with him, he made us sit with him. 
It says, join C.C. Elohim in heavenly places. That means our authority does not, does not come out of here. Our authority flows out of heaven. All right? That's what the Bible considers. I think it's, a, it's, 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 timid, it's, it's Philippians 3.16. It says, for our citizenship is in heaven. Our conversation, our conversation, our citizenship is in heaven. That means, I'm sorry, in a, a 2 Corinthians 5, 18, 19, 20, it said we are ambassadors for Christ. It said God uh, was in Christ reconciling the world to himself and have been trusted towards the ministry of reconciliation. So you find out that there is an authority given and there is a mandate given us and that everything it takes to effect that mandate is attached to the assignment. And so the sooner you understand that and get to know what is the authority that is given you, number one, you get to know uh, the real life, the supernatural, understand and know that it's real and there's a negative and a positive. The next thing you want to know that what is the authority given you as you begin to walk in the realm of the supernatural, also in the natural. How do you, uh, what is authority? When you speak, when you stand, when you decree, when you pray, what is the backing? What gives you the assurance is based on that. And so these are major issues we need to understand. If we're going to have recovery in our life, there needs to, there needs to be an understanding of the major factor. We need to shape our spiritual capacity. And as we shape our spiritual capacity, there are things we need to understand under that. If our spiritual capacity will be shifted, we need to understand the reality of the supernatural, both the negative and the positive. That means you have to understand how God operates and how the devil and his angels operate. So the only problem we have with the church today is that many believers are very, very knowledgeable how God operates. They are not knowledgeable how the enemy does. They say they don't want to know. And that's almost an casualties because if you know you do, if you know the, your, your, your capacity very well, know the weapons you have, know how much you are strong, but don't know the capacity of your enemy, I can tell you exactly how they're going to attack you. You will become a victim because if an enemy decides not to fight you conventionally and takes a different... Now, intelligence is important. Like the right now, in today's kind of a warfare, the issue of intelligence is so major because most of the wars that are fought now are not... Are not are not are not conventional. You are not fighting conventional war. Most of the war now are terroristic. They are they are they are, they are secret. They are bow they are bow. And you call it a, a, a bow warfare and all these different things. So you find too many intelligence and information gathering, information seeking. You know sleeper cells and all these things working around the place to make sure that the whoever nation that wants to be on top is in charge on top of the information on top of our. Uh, the secret agents and the rest of the thing and if and god knew that long ahead of time and that's why for the church he gave us ability he gave us the discernment of spirit he gave us all these different but knowing that as we interact in the kingdom we have positive and negative spirits how do you determine between the two how do you evaluate between the two how do you recognize the two it, it will take a sensitivity on the inside of you and those are issues if it have to happen you have to understand that the, 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 the supernatural is so powerful and the supernatural is important this morning I, well, we like to uh, take some time to stop here. We're not going to take all your time. Like I said, we're going to be doing our best to take our time and have shorter devotion and begin preparing ourselves because we know we will not always be in the state. There's coming a time where we will have to transition back to work and things. So we want to start adjusting to that where we don't take all your time. And we also know a lot of people are, are wonderful with data. So we want to be able to give you the information that we can give you in parts and not take all the time and make the uh, our videos very important. So we want to, we would like to stop here this morning and uh, we'd like to encourage you and let you know that in the uh, we're going to be continuing tomorrow morning. But if you're going to recover, these are things we talk about today. Yeah, we say that indeed you have to uh, 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 shift your spiritual capacity. You have to do so. Yeah, shift your spiritual capacity. And say so for you to shift your spiritual capacity, you have to understand. Hallelujah! The reality of the supernatural, both the negative and the positive. And then, uh, 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 then you have to also uh, understand the re the, uh, uh, the authority given you. That makes you a destiny overcomer. That means before the battles begin, before you even engage anything, that you know that you are in charge. That makes you know that you are in charge. And we we, we were able to dive in the scriptures and make some things clear to us this morning. I want to encourage you this morning. Today is another day and I want to let you know that God is going to cause you to recover as you pursue him with diligence and commitment. And I can promise you your life will never be the same again. I want you to live your spirit, continue to serve the Lord with dedication and commitment. I want you to love him and the devil of your heart. And I want you to give him all the glory. This morning is a wonderful morning. 
uh, the blessing of the heavens and the earth are going to be yours. God is going to sustain, protect, and guide and watch over you this morning. I want to give you a prophecy. Your tomorrow will be better than your today. Hallelujah. And we'd like to allow our own musician this morning to, to, to just stay our spirit in that direction. That our tomorrow will be better than our our today. Yeah. Yeah. You can you can you can you can you can we can rest assured that that your tomorrow will be better than what you today. Yeah. Yeah. My tomorrow must be greater than today. Yeah. Can I reach to you? His eyes are not blind That they cannot see your tears His ears are not dead That they cannot hear your cry Your tomorrow must be greater than today Your tomorrow must be greater than today No matter what I see No matter what I see no matter what comes my way, no matter how I cry, one thing I know, that is definitely my heart, my tomorrow. Can I hear you prophesying that to yourself this morning? <laughs> yes, sir. No matter what I say, no matter, no matter what I say. No matter what comes my way, one thing I know, that is definitely my heart, my tomorrow. Oh yes, we'd like to pray for you this morning, your family, pray ordering your day, that your season of recovery is going to be show. I'm going to sing in my tomorrow. Because I'm back tomorrow. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm back tomorrow. One thing I know, that is definitely my heart. My tomorrow must be greater than today. My tomorrow must be greater than today. I'm going to sing him on tomorrow. I'm going to dance him on tomorrow. I'm going to testify. Yes, you're going to testify. You're going to dance. You're going to sing. That is definitely in your heart. Nothing going to change it. It has to be that. I don't care what the enemy says. No matter what he throws your way, your tomorrow is going to be better than your today. That's your prophecy. You can prophesy it. You can declare it. You can write it. You can speak it this morning. I think I need to see it. And then I'm going to say amen and agree with you this morning. I say, I'm on it. One thing I know that one thing I know that is definite in my heart. My tomorrow shall be greater than my today. And you and, and that's just an established truth. The Bible says we've been due for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. It says, He that go for bearing precious, she shall doubtless come again, bringing in the sheep. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not be faint. That's it this morning. One thing I know. My heart, my tomorrow must be greater than today. My tomorrow must be greater than today. No matter what I face, no matter what I see, no matter what comes my way, no matter how I cry, one thing I know that is definitely in my heart. My tomorrow shall be greater, shall be better, shall be greater, shall be awesome. I don't know who you are this morning that is watching. I, I know that it's pain. You'll be going through some pains, the loss of a loved one. 
uh, shaking in your relationship, problem with your business, uh, affect with your career and different things. On certain day, with all the different happening around us. But one thing you can be sure about, your tomorrow is going to be. We don't want you to be down. Don't be disappointed. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Don't think that God has forgotten you. No. You know he's going to be greater. You can rest assured. It shall be greater. I can only hear you saying it. Must be greater. Far greater than today. I can hear you. Tomorrow must be greater. Far greater than today. That's it. In my life. Get a better tomorrow. Yeah. I can see it. I can see it. That's it. The Bible says, my faith is impossible to please God. You got to be able to project the future with persuasion, with commitment and dedication, knowing that the God who started this good work is going to finish it. You can trust Him. You can depend on Him. You can lean on Him. I want to encourage you to this, this morning. And I want to let you know that we remain due for a night. But joy come in the morning. I feel a sense of celebration this morning. And I want to let you know that God will not disappoint you. God will not disappoint you not at all. You won't. You won't do that. You can rest in Him. You can trust in Him. This morning, just before we, we draw to a close, I'd like us to, to take some time in prayer. Because our closing session is going to be a time of celebration and real praise in the Lord. We're going to be praising our God in a mighty way. In a mighty way, we're going to be praising Him. Giving Him glory and giving Him praise. Father, I want to thank you this morning. Bless you for waking us up in our right mind. To commit our brothers and sisters, wherever they are, in uh, viewing us from wherever part of the world they are. You know exactly what has happened in the life of each and every person right now. And so we commit this time to you and we trust you for your intervention, your guidance, and your leadership. We thank you for divine intervention in every aspect of our lives. We thank you for changing the story that surrounds us. For visiting us in a mighty way for manifesting your grace and glory in our life. For being a good and a faithful God that we can trust, depend on and lean on. Thank you for being the one that will bring hope, bring healing, bring transformation, and bring a mighty change. This day, oh God, as we stand before you. We well, thank you, Spirit of God, for being a good God, for being a wonderful, loving, and faithful God. We we'll bless you for each and every one this morning, everyone, wherever they are, and with their situations. We we'll thank you for intervening and turning it for the better, for changing things around. We we'll thank you for your mighty hand that shifts things, oh God, for you intervening and stabilizing things around your people. We we'll bless you this morning for being that great and awesome God. We we'll love you this morning. We we'll trust you. And we know that whatever we have entrusted to you, we keep it against that day. We bless you today and I give you praise. Take all the praise now and the glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen and amen. Yeah. I'm going to test. We're dancing my tomorrow. We testify my tomorrow. We also like to give you opportunity. We never like to leave and close this time with our give you the opportunity maybe you may listen to us and uh, uh and you need to give your life to christ because you don't know him you're interested in what we're discussing but you don't know christ uh, i want to let you know that in the uh, it's a great opportunity for you i want to give it to you give you the opportunity and maybe as some of you who want you to rededicate your life to the lord you've been given a word and you need to rededicate your life to the lord i want to give you the opportunity to do that also in the name of jesus christ I also want to let you know that our our we have we do we have three major broadcasts every day morning due which is this morning late afternoon it's time of refreshing that's 10 to 11 11 to 10 to 11 yeah and then uh the next one is uh from eight to nine o'clock that is uh uh prayer of life so we'd like to follow up we're working on our programs that have to do strictly music praise and some christian showing we're working on that we try to adjust it that will be towards afternoon hours and uh, we believe that we can get that done but for now that's all we're working with i want to thank god for all of you that can to follow us and we pray that you're going to share these videos so that it be uh, people are blessed and people are ministered to at the end of the day in Jesus' name. Let's pray this 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 after uh, this morning. 
you didn't want to give your life to Christ. So Father, I want to thank you for that brother, that sister. They have come to the realization that they need you in your life. Uh, I ask you, God, that you have mercy on them. Whatever way they were out of your coast, I seek your mercy and I ask you to remember your people in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, God, that as they submit to you today, Lord, take your place in your life. Uh, thank you, Lord, for bringing that change and transformation in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for doing so. I want you to live in spirit. Say, Father, thank you. This morning, I acknowledge I'm a sinner and I need your salvation. But I know that Jesus died on the cross to take away my sins. And he gave me his righteousness. Today, I accept the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. And I ask you to come into my heart to be my Lord and Savior. Jesus, thank you for coming into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for accepting your servant and for giving him a new life. In Jesus' name. I want to let you know that you, you made a great decision and God has answered your decision. Giving your life to the Lord, it is settled. God, you are a new creature. All you need to do is that. Build a prayer life, study God's word, submit to mentorship, fund, mentorship, find a good church where you can build a fellowship. But for now, this is what you have. So network with us and we'll keep teaching. Our teaching. Follow the teachings uh, in all the different sections as much as you possible and share with as many persons. Be an ambassador of this of this broadcast and share. You are liberty to do so. God bless you. Uh, until we meet tomorrow morning for another wonderful broadcast on uh, the morning to you. I'm Apostle Samuel Kali. And I say it was good being with you this morning. We know that the Lord is going to bless you in a mighty way. Have a great morning and have a great day. God bless you. May your day be blissful, wonderful, and glorious to the glory of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Yeah. It shall be far greater.
Aleluia.